In the Middle East, Abu Dhabi has become one of the world's most ultra-modern cities. Here, the Yas Marina circuit has just provided the ultimate F1 experience for media personalities and fans as a prelude to the 2010 Abu Dhabi Grand Prix. Our drivers have been lucky enough to try their hand at a range of racing skills, from karting right through to the F1 two-seater. Now we move across to the adjacent drag strip, as the drivers get set for a mind and body experience that is second to none. Uh, this week for the F1 experience, uh, we got the pleasure of letting everybody come see what drag racing is like. We got a unique car, uh, really the first of its kind. It's a three-seat dragster. Um, myself and we're going to be able to take two passengers. And this car right here, it uh, it's pretty fast. You'll, it'll achieve about 220 kilometers in about five seconds in, in the half track. So they're going to experience basically almost four Gs. I mean, it's amazing. The first uh, one second and a half, it's really unbelievable. It's much more than Formula One and every everyone I drive in the past. Yeah. And then after maybe two seconds, it's, it's okay. Still a lot, but the first, really first second is like, <gasps> you miss the air, but it's so nice. seen some of the people's faces stepping out of it and these are the these are the GP2 drivers and stuff and they're saying this thing's quick so <laughs> yeah like being strapped to the front of the space shuttle or something like that well, that was that's, <laughs> that's just so incredibly quick. It just keeps accelerating and just... Yeah, it's a bit like... Like the vanishing point just turns to this, like, dot and you're just flying. It's like, it's like being sort of in injected out of a syringe or something. And you go... Your head's like this and you're sort of braced and then it's just whack back and it just goes... And then it just stops. And then there's just like this immense calm at the end of it. I didn't, I, you don't breathe on the way down there. You're just holding your breath, you're just like, Ooh. I mean, I'm just a passenger. <laughs> I don't know how Rod's controlling that. I mean, he's making corrections. I'm just, I'm trying to like, I'm trying to keep my head on. <laughs> Pure speed, that is the greatest thing I've ever done. It was sort of like three seconds and it was over, but what an, what an amazing three seconds it was. And you, you go down like that, because then when it gets going, you get lifted back. Then halfway down your helmet starts getting sucked off your head. Um, it's just the, the forces are just something else. You know, two F1 engines in the back of that thing. I mean, Rod was saying, so this is a 1,000, no, 1,500 brake. He drives 7,000. I wouldn't want to do that. I'm not sure I'd live to tell the tale of a 7,000 brake. This two-day experience with various genres of our sport will leave an indelible mark on the minds of everyone who took part.